Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Tuesday, April 7th, Tuesday of Holy Week. A reading and a prayer from For All the Saints, Volume 3. The reading from Martin Luther, 1483-1546. A reflection on the cross. The cross teaches us to believe in hope even when there is no hope. The wisdom of the cross is deeply hidden in a profound mystery. In fact, there is no other way to heaven than taking up the cross of Christ. On account of this, we must beware that the active life with its good works and the contemplative life with its speculations do not lead us astray. Both are most attractive and yield peace of mind, but for that very reason, they hide real dangers. Unless they are tempered by the cross and disturbed by adversaries. The cross is the surest path of all. Blessed is the man who understands this truth. It is a matter of necessity that we be destroyed and rendered formless so that Christ may be formed within us and Christ alone be in us. Real mortifications do not happen in lovely places away from the society of other human beings. <coughs> no, they happen in the home, the marketplace, in secular life, being conformed to Christ is not within our powers to achieve. It is God's gift, not our own work. He who is not cruciformis, if I may coin a word, is not Christian. In other words, he who does not bear his cross is no Christian for he is not like his master, Jesus Christ. The last of the reading ends here. The closing prayer is by Ashen Oxenda, I'm not sure I have that pronounced right, 1808 to 1902. O thou who art not only my God, but also my Father, I thank thee that thou dost encourage me to draw near as thy child. Oh, give me a father's blessing. Thou art acquainted with all my wants. Every trial, every sorrow, every craving of my heart is known to thee. I am weak. Do thou strengthen me. I am poor. Do thou enrich me. I come to thee in all my emptiness. Do thou fill me out of thy fullness. Give me all that I need and more than I dare to ask. Give me not according to my unworthiness, but according to my necessity and according to the abounding riches of thy grace. And O God, thou knowest likewise all my sins. Make me to know them also and to feel their greatness. Call to remembrance all that is past. Show me where I've been wrong. Bring to light my hidden iniquities. I acknowledge the guilt of my evil thoughts, my unholy desires, my secret transgressions. Pardon me, O my Father, for Jesus' sake. Blot out my sins in that precious blood which was shed for me on the cross. Take away this heart of stone. Give me a heart of flesh, a tender, believing, loving Heart. O Lord, help me to live nearer to thee day by day. Keep me under the blessed influence of thy Holy Spirit. Make me to be ever growing in grace. Forgetting those things which are behind, may I be ever pressing toward the prize of my high calling. Give me grace to crucify self and to bring my thoughts and desires and will into subjection to thee. 
Bless, O oh Lord, those who are near and dear to me. Give unto them all that I've asked for myself. If any of them are at this time in sorrow, do thou comfort them. If any in doubt or difficulty, do thou guide them. Those of them who are still afar off from thee, do thou bring near. And those who know and love thee, give more and more of thy grace. Hear me, O my Father, and give me an answer of peace to these my prayers, for Jesus' sake. Amen.